You're 26. No, I'm 25. I'm a woman. Chloe, if you're 26, would you be a man? Because I'm trying to really, really understand that. <laughs> I'm 25. I'm a woman. So anybody that's 26 is now a man, a boy, a baby. What? <laughs> Anyway, let's get into Hello it. Hello guys, welcome to Just Find Me Vibes. Welcome, let's talk about Love Island episode 2. Yay. Okay, so this uh, episode is a bit slow, but I do understand it's still the beginning, so we kind of have to have patience. It's going to take some time for the characters to actually reveal themselves. No, they're still in the what like a representative phase you know like when you meet someone the person you show the person first not the real person yeah some of them are showing their true colors gradually but with time we're going to see all of them we're going to know their personality and things like that anyway we're knowing some of them's personality let me start by saying right this whole season i have not seen anybody that is like a couch protector you know i mean the producers are showing everybody which is also a good thing because previous uh, seasons sometimes they just don't show some people but at least now we see everybody and then i'm going to go first i need to talk to liberty liberty girl have you not heard that you have to assess yourself increase your value and add tax to it girl what are you talking about i know that chloe is beautiful nobody says she's not beautiful but girl why are you looking down on yourself for please don't do that don't do that like that was just giving me you know what I mean it kind of feels like seriously have you seen yourself have you looked in the mirror lately if you haven't then maybe you should now let's go to all the the whole thing is that there's no real couples I felt like Drake and Liberty were the only couple and I said that in my previous review but it seems like Jake does not feel like he's in a coupling he feels that he's free to do as he wants. I'm not saying he's not free to do as he wants because obviously it's just one day. He's free to do as he wants. But seriously, it just feels like, huh, he's not in a coupling. And then I was on Twitter yesterday and I saw a lot of people talking about Chloe's voice. I am against that just because that's bullying. She cannot change her voice. The way she sounds, that's how she sounds. Nobody can change how they sound. So for someone to, for a group of people, to be talking about someone's voice like the whole nation talking about someone's voice that's too much please like we can laugh about people joke about things but can we try and joke about things that are maybe for just something that can be changed if it's something that you know i mean not something that someone will feel bad about that might reduce their self-esteem and they cannot do anything about it you know somewhere i'm coming from so i don't think there's no surgery for voice is there and do we want that to have a surgery for our voice, really? So please, we have to be really, really careful what we say and how we joke. I understand that it's all jokes, but for me, I just felt like when she comes out from the house, will she see all this? How would it make her feel? Would it make her now start keeping quiet? And when the girls in the house were talking about her voice being bait, they were just talking about the way she was sound, trying to sound sexy, like, oh, guys, eh, you know, that kind of thing. That's what they were just talking about. They were not talking about how her voice sounds. They were not saying her voice was annoying. I saw someone tweeting that and saying that, oh, the girl's still talking about her voice. And we have to deal with it, whether you like the voice or not. But please just keep quiet about it. That's all I'm saying about the voice. You can talk about any other thing but the voice. Nah, nah, I don't, no, no, no. That's enough for me. Okay, so the whole episode was a bit slow. Things are not moving in the rate that we want things to move at. They are moving quite slow. Chloe is actually grafting. And to be honest, I can see why Chloe was a better choice than Shannon. Because I think last time I said that Shannon is hotter. So Shannon should have been that. But Shannon doesn't really have a personality like that. I saw Amber saying that uh, Shannon reminds her of herself. Amber, you had a personality. Like, I wasn't on Twitter because for some reason, when it comes to Love Island, I don't go on Twitter. Just yesterday, I just wanted to, I didn't go on Twitter for the first uh, episode. When it comes to Love Island, I don't really go on Twitter until when it gets, you know, serious, serious. Like, when I'm, like, when I'm, um, when I like a particular couple or things like that, I mean, it's getting serious or so close to the middle to the end. That's when I go on Twitter. So, I didn't even go on Twitter the first, um, period of season five and i loved you like i was like i did not even see all those things we were talking about all i knew was that i loved you so i do not understand like uh, shannon is beautiful but her personality is it that they are not showing us or she's not showing us one of the above i hope it comes out she's a very beautiful girl but 
zero personality at the moment so let's hope the personality shows in future episodes that's all i'm going to say when it comes to shannon but i do like the fact that she refused to exchange speech saliva with someone <laughs> that she doesn't know what she doesn't like but what's the point of that and then that just leads me straight to toby toby let's talk so if you can't do someone it will lead to attachment but you can suck their feet though but you can kiss them though like seriously so kodo is more serious than exchanging your dna with somebody else hmm. make it make sense and um for the whole game that they did the game was fun i like the game the only things i want to talk about the game number one was first of all you go kissing 10 people in one day one night wow boy mm -mm. that was not a good look i don't think so i don't think they're just kissing people kissing people like <laughs> you, you get a kiss you get a kiss you get a kiss you also get a kiss i don't feel like that is like you know what i mean like I don't feel like that is like a good thing to just be exchanging 10 people one night were you drunk what was happening mm -mm. Mm -mm. and some of these things right i don't understand why do you feel that is a good thing for you to say these things like um what's her name chloe i think she said that um toy sex toys got stuck in her seriously you went for an interview and you decided that that was an information you want to share like i'm not understanding you know like if that happens ha that so those are the list of things you take to your grave that is one of it then the second thing that, that this one is even worse is toby blink and you miss it no it's not toby it's brad <laughs> sorry toby it's brad blink and you miss it wow brad wow and you decided to share this information like you really really decided that oh i'm going for love and an interview what am i going to tell them i'm going to tell them that there's this kind of quick sex i have that is blink and you miss it and that's a selling point for you man wow like whoa <laughs> that just made me like hey you better mm -mm, better choose another man <laughs> blink and you miss it you don't want to be in the room where someone is blinking and missing it like you did him he's gone wow so that's all to be honest the whole thing she grafted liberty feels like she's not safe shannon cannot be bothered because she doesn't like aaron and um they did not show us who uh, chloe chooses so we do not know um i still like cars i still like uh cars and liberty relationship i do let's be honest at the moment there's no housemate that I don't like uh-huh before i go I want to talk about chloe again because today i think today is a chloe day yes we all understand that hugo is not your type it is fine for somebody not to be your type not everybody is your type but for you to not try and throw shade at him to say oh I think you could go like really really the same way you were screened and choosing for love island is the same way he was screened and choosing for love island because it's not your type does not mean it's not someone else's type another man's food is another man's poison you don't you don't like him that way it is fine but to make joke of him like is he is he unsexy or what is that what you're trying to say or he's not attractive or what what exactly is your point chloe because we really do not like you we're trying to be nice. We're trying to give you the benefit of that. Because we don't think that you're a bombshell. We do not think you're a bombshell. I know like Liberty's like, oh, Chloe is so beautiful. Oh, look at her body. Look at, uh-uh. I don't know what, what glasses Liberty's wearing. Not that your body's not fine. Your body's fine. But the very so beautiful part, I don't know. I'm not saying you're ugly. You're beautiful. But so, that's the part I'm just trying to get. The so in the beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> The soul in the beautiful is the part I'm trying to get. Beautiful, yes, but so hmm. Hmm. I rest my case. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh today's uh tomorrow to discuss tonight's episode. And I hope tonight's episode has some drama. Please, the producers, you stayed all through 2020, no job. Not that you have job, obviously, other job, but no Love Island job. I would have expected you guys to be thinking 
what can I do to shake it? But no, you guys are just giving us lukewarm. I know it's the first, uh, the beginning, but please now, please, thank you, and goodbye. Bye-bye.